Hello, hello, my beautiful Leos. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Goretti, and today I am going to be doing a bonus reading for you guys for Christmas time. Whether you celebrate or not, uh, it is for this holiday time, the rest of December before I do my January um, readings. So first I am going to cleanse our energy space. So we're gonna remove all negative energies and entities and any evil eye from your space and mine Thank you, it is done, it is done, and so it is. All right, my loves. So, I have already uh, shuffled the Oracle decks, but I will cut them on camera, so let's get into it. My beautiful winter deck here, you guys absolutely love this deck. Bottom of the deck, before I cut it, says warm embrace. The love you want is here, Leo, look at that. I feel like some of you, this is, you know, childhood love, but also I'm hearing for some of you, this is a love for your child uh, as well, or this is just a very, um, I I'm just getting something, you know, around childhood sweetness, right? Uh, with the teddy bear there. Okay. So that's what I'm getting there. All right, you guys. Um, so we have keeping the faith. There is always hope at the bottom of the deck here. Okay. Um, and then we have spicy encounter follow your passion okay and right behind that was digging deeper there's more to learn so for some of you this has to do with a passion for some of you this has to do with um you know something possibly from your childhood that you love to do um and you know um maybe you don't see how you can do it uh you know as well i'm hearing and this is saying keep the faith sorry guys it is mercury retrograde and it is all dealing with you know um my communication i'm really having a hard time today with all of these videos it's so interesting but mercury retrograde definitely affects me so you guys um keep the faith you know uh whatever it is you know if you guys are wanting you know i'm hearing for a lot of you a new love interest if you want a commitment if you want to just meet uh you know somebody new somebody that you want to be in relationship with this is saying keep the faith there's always hope for you um you know sometimes we we kind of lose that hope we feel like you know i'm not meeting anybody or everybody i'm going on dates with like i have no interest in or there's no connection or no chemistry whatever this is um it's saying you know there is going to be a spicy encounter just hold faith okay have faith um have hope it is going to happen for you okay you guys for some of you this is saying to just follow your passion and it will lead you to this okay just keep doing what you love to do have fun enjoy this time of year okay next uh deck live playfully and with a light heart listen to the voice of your inner child what did i say i'm getting this inner child vibe uh so you guys this could be going back to your childhood what were you passionate about um and this is going to lead you possibly uh to your life purpose your life mission or possibly this you know person okay so we have bottom of the deck you cast a spell with your existence magic flows brightly and radiantly within you i feel like you're magnetizing someone here leo <laughs> that's what i'm getting here um you know with the butterflies it's kind of like be light and fun and playful shine your light and your energy follow your passion and this person will come Okay, that's what I'm getting for a lot of you. And then we have a wonderful surprise is coming at the top of the deck. Something entirely new awaits you. So this could be a person, this could be, um, you know, a passion project, like I said, it could be work or career, whatever this is, continue to follow your passion, be playful, have that lighthearted energy, shine your light, okay? And magic flows through you, you will be magnetic for this to come in. And it is going to happen when you least expect it. I just heard it is going to be a surprise. All right, my loves. So Leo, the next deck. I actually had this card really fly out of the deck when I was pre-shuffling. It is the moon. Duality, hidden gem, secret power. The moon is what's hidden. You don't see. It's not illuminated yet. So you might not see this, right? But it is coming and it says, what if strangeness is actually your brilliance? What I got with this card was to do with, um, you know, possibly your passion, something to do with your life purpose, your life mission, maybe career, maybe a, a business, whatever this is. This is kind of saying to me here, um, what I got was 
there's parts of you, like the dark parts of you. This is like yin and yang. These dark parts of you, um, you know, are actually also the light that is within you. It's kind of like embracing your weirdness, embracing, you know, that you're different. Um, and I don't mean dark parts as in like, you know, bad or negative or toxic or, you know, anything like that. I just mean like these other parts of you, um, maybe dark's the wrong word, parts of you that are hidden or that you keep hidden are actually the beauty uh, that you have within you, okay? So connect to those parts. Shine your light here, okay? Uh, sorry, guys, I am using my brand new uh, device. I finally got it, um, and the camera is outstanding, but I'm still learning how to use it, okay? I'm not tech savvy at all. Um, so bottom of the deck, um, is be patient. Card number 11, it says, be patient, it will come. The sun, manifestation, power, and 1111. Some of you guys could be seeing 1111 or other signs and synchronicities. You guys, there's that sun. The sun, yin and yang. What did I say? The sun and the moon, yin and yang. This is these parts of you that you think aren't good are actually beautiful and you need to shine your light. And guys, Leo, this is also your card, okay? So you guys shine your light. This is how you cast a spell, you know, not an actual spell, but you know, uh, magnetizing, being magnetic, mesmerizing, you know, people, whether it's at work, whether it's, you know, uh, in, in dating or a new relationship. And then we have blessings and curses, psyche, self-love and beauty. Do not be ashamed, not of your thorns or of your flowers. You guys don't be ashamed of the light and dark parts of you. Don't be ashamed of the parts of you that you feel like are not accepted because that is actually what makes you beautiful and radiant. That is your magic that you have within you. Follow your passion, okay? And you guys are going to have these beautiful things come in for you and you guys don't even realize there's a wonderful surprise that is coming in for you guys, okay? Follow your passion and also stay faithful and hopeful, okay? So keep the faith and remember there's always hope here, all right? Let's get into the tarot messages and guidance, please, for Leo for Christmas time, end of December, messages and guidance for Leo. You guys, I feel like this has to do with, some of you, it is relationship, new relationship, dating, possibly finding your person, right? For others of you, this has to do with finding like your passion, your purpose, your mission, okay? King of Pentacles, okay? So for some of you, this is you gaining that stability. For others of you, this possibly could be this person. Let's see what Spirit has to say. I'll lay the cards out and then I will walk you through it. Yeah, you guys, first card out. Oh my goodness, you can't even make this up. <laughs> yeah. You guys can't make this up. For a lot of you, yes, it has to do with a like something that you love to do. Okay. Um, oh wow. All right. Here we go. So first card that came out, the situation, Knight of Swords. This could be somebody coming in hot for you. For others of you, this is you following your passion. This is you taking action towards what you're passionate about. This could be some sort of adventure, going on an adventure. I also see travel here for many of you because Six of Swords is what we're aware of. So this is you guys moving away from any kind of darkness and moving into the light, moving away from any difficulties and going to things that are much easier, okay? Um, in the recent past, you guys, we have the Two of Cups. This is partnership. This is a union, a match. Could be romantic. It could be friendship. Maybe you're traveling with a friend or this could have to do with a partnership in business. For a lot of you, I do see it is romantic because what we're not aware of is four of wands. This is a celebration. This is also my marriage card. 1111 card. We did see that, you guys. So this could be you guys even integrating within yourself if this isn't about, you know, uh, work or a business or a purpose or a passion a project or anything or a relationship. This could just be you within yourself, getting yourself balanced and stable. You guys accepting your light and dark side, getting yourself to that place, that yin and yang, right? Uh, for others of you, this match is going to be very equal. This is going to be a beautiful match here. Um, and you guys, some of you guys could be moving, going on an adventure, 
going across possibly the seas, uh, you know, to a new home as well with a new partner. This could be where you meet this person. You guys could be just, I heard, following your passion, going on this adventure. Okay. And all of a sudden you meet the love of your life. That's kind of what I get for some. All right. So your advice, you guys can't even make, make this up. Okay. You guys, um, advice is, um, ace of wands. So this is saying to, um, you know, follow your passion, grab on, grab hold of that passion. This is where the opportunity is going to be for many of you. When you are doing what you're passionate about and what you love, whether that's fun, whether it's work, whatever this is going on adventures, traveling, you know, whatever this is, this is where you're going to have this spicy encounter, this match. So don't lose hope you know, um, continue to have faith, you guys, because this is going to happen for you. And then your potential outcome, you guys have the King of Cups. This is somebody who is coming in here that is going to love you. Somebody who's very loving, nurturing, kind, gentle, um, compassionate, empathic, generous, okay, especially with their heart. Um, for others of you, if this is you, this is you are going to get emotionally balanced. What did I say with the 1111, right? The four of wands here, you you balancing your light and dark yin and yang energies, okay? Um, and then when I clarified, we have the lover's card here. So many of you, this is a love connection. For others of you, it is a decision. We have eight of wands, so it can work either way. A decision possibly to move, move jobs, move cities, move homes. Uh, you know, for others of you, this is, you know, lover's energy, this connection with this King of Cups. There's going to be a lot of movement, a lot of passionate communication and a lot of other passionate things going on here, especially with that Ace of Wands. Okay. And then the spicy encounter, Leo, what is going on with you, you guys? Let's keep this, you know, uh, PG, but you guys are definitely having a lot of fun over this Christmas season. Okay, so Queen of Pentacles at the bottom, what we is hidden and what we are not aware of. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. So this could be you, this person could be a Capricorn or you have Capricorn in your chart. This is also somebody, this could be your match, right? So this could be, you know, somebody who's very kind of in their feelings and the other person is really kind of practical. Both very nurturing, very loving, very empathic and also both very abundant, stable and secure as well. Okay, and we have the world, you guys, some of you, this could be traveling the world, this could be somebody that uh, you meet, you know, somewhere else in the world. And then we have the emperor, you guys, this is divine masculine energy. So for you guys, this person I just heard could be your whole world or you are the whole world to this person. This person could be divine masculine or you, um, you know, take it how it re uh, resonates, vice versa. But this is somebody who's really stepping in their power. Again, that passionate action, right? Taking that passionate action here. Lots of passion, you guys. Four of Wands, right? Eight of Wands, you guys. So much, so much passion but also very deep feelings here, okay? This person is definitely taking charge. This is somebody who like really takes charge with you. And I think um, that you really enjoy this uh, or vice versa, take it how it resonates. And then we have five of swords. So there could have been some sort of conflict, um, maybe a little bit of, you know, fight. Uh, I feel like this is really small. Like look at, you know, covering your eyes, you know, maybe not wanting to see any kind of, you know, conflict or anything like that. And then we have six of wands. So you guys, there's going to be victory and success if there is you know a little you know kind of hiccup uh with somebody during this time if this is you being conflicted possibly about a decision of like where do i move what do i do what business do i start what is my passion you know how do i i am hearing for some of you making that decision of like you know kind of showing the world the re real you shining your light right um you know uh the parts of you that you're trying to keep hidden you know spirit is asking for you to really shine those parts of you embrace those parts of you it is what makes you beautiful okay um, so some of you guys could be internally conflicted. Some of you guys, this is you being in the spotlight, possibly being recognized, uh, in your work, people, maybe wanting to date you. Maybe you're in the spotlight somewhere, something like that. All right, Melas, but you guys just continue to follow your passion. All right. And no, keep the faith. There's always hope. There's always hope here. Okay. So, and you guys, what was the other card that was at the bottom of the deck? I just want to see what that was about again with the teddy bear i shouldn't have put it away warm embrace the love you want is here okay so for some of you 
This is going to involve traveling to find that love. This is you also just following your heart, following your passion. And you guys are going to encounter the love that you want is already here. It is already, I just heard, if you guys are manifesting, you've already planted your seeds. Uh, for some of you, this is somebody that you're already in a connection with. I do have to say that with that because the Two of Cups was in the recent past. So this is somebody that uh, you are in, for many of you, already in connection with, okay? Let's see what Archangel My Michael has to say uh, for you. Okay. Absolutely, you guys. So we have bottom of the deck. You are on the right path. Okay. Follow your passion. You're on the right path. Um, you know, don't give up hope, just have faith. And then we have decide to be happy now. Okay. You guys stop looking at these, you know, parts of you. Some of you, this has to do with, you know, self, um, you know, love or insecurities, things like that. Just you guys, you know, um, these parts of you accept all these parts of you. Okay. They are what make you beautiful. And, you know, spirit wants you to illuminate those. Okay. Shine your light be happy now you guys don't stay stuck in that moon dark energy okay be happy now the sun is about to shine when you start being happy and accepting yourself and loving yourself and following your passions that's when that person comes in this could have already happened like i said because the two of cups is already there some of you i feel like are kind of you know backtracking a little bit spirit is asking for you to get back to that place of really loving yourself following your passion and then you guys a surprise is coming in for you whether this is a person an offer from this person celebrating we did see that with the four of wands as well right all right my loves that is what I have for you. Thank you so much for being here. Merry Christmas if you do celebrate. If you don't, happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. Uh, just, you know, enjoy this time of year. Don't forget to do all the things. Like, share, comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I would absolutely love to have you here as part of this ever-growing butterfly family. Don't forget, you guys, this is the best way to really help and support my channel to grow, to help my messages uh, and spirits messages to get out there. I did do a video on that as well. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified of new videos because some people have been having issues with that uh with my channel uh here on youtube all right so and as always you guys i wish you all peace love and light until next time bye, -bye.